Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, much love. Thank you uh, for the support you always giving me is truly, truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and you're comfortable enough, drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the video, you're vibing with it and you would love to share with the loved one, you know, or someone whoever uh do you feel like maybe vibing um needs to vibe with the two please go ahead and do it it's truly appreciate it so with that being said namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um uh watching a video which i already know if you're watching it um i hope you're able to vibe with it i hope you're able to resonate um and this video is about twin flame 101 hey okas being mentally and physically depleted we <sighs> When I say this purging, like it, it's hitting different right now. I don't know if it feels different for y'all, but it's hitting real different. Because it seems like as soon as you purge something else out, a whole cluster of of different things come up. And as soon as I, I oof, as soon as I said that, I had chills. Um, going through that. Oof, okay, going through that. <laughs> it's not been easy. It's not really not been easy. And, you know, you're going through these different things because it, it's just like, like I was saying in the last video, there's a lot of things that you're lagging on. Your, we've gotten so comfortable with, you know, our, our, our baggage of pain, limited of beliefs, you know, not allowing ourselves to step out the comfort zone, not allowing ourselves, we, we play safe. There's sometimes we, we need to roar when we choose to be silent. All these different things is going on and it makes you tired and a lot of times we feel like you know you can be worried like am i am i not feel, am, am i not supposed to be feeling this way it's nor it's common i don't like using that word when it comes to us being normal it's common for you to go through that you're going through a huge uh transition into your life where you are going on the next stage of a lot of different things for you and universe is pushing you through doors it's like the doors ain't open they're pushing you through and those things for those that happen you going towards that next situation and it's just hitting one two three four you know you can get over one and then five other ones come in and like hey you got to keep going got to keep going if you need to rest go ahead and rest but when you get up you got to get you know you got to come up very you know very much stronger than you did the last time around you know these are the things because it's like you've been holding on to these things for so long and it's time for us to detach you know you may not even feel like a part of your life anymore because you have detached from so many different things you've been holding on to baggage like you know if you've been with me for a while you heard me say i've been ace boon coon to my tragedy for a long time that's all i used to constantly think about is the tragedy what people have done the shameful things i've done to other people you know what i expose my children to you know different addictions that i've had that it made me uncomfortable you know how i had to support my children you know with me uh dancing for you know five six years seven eight years you know for that long you know and i used to allow myself to sit and vacation into my wallow of pain you know wanting to feel pity like oh you know hopefully god um, or somebody will feel sorry for me and they'll help me get out of this situation. No, you had to be that person that was saving your own self, you know. And I didn't even realize I was, you know, I've, I've told people I didn't even realize I was playing the victim role. I don't even realize that I was having that pity party for my own self until it was like I had to be able to step out the box. That wasn't something I was ready to digest, it wasn't something I was ready to claim. But then it's just like if you're being true to yourself, you're going to have to accept the fact is that you done been through some stuff. You gonna have to say the fact. The fact is, you are it, the reason why it cannot heal the way it is. Because a lot of times we're trying to heal like we were before we got healed, before we got woke, before you know our eyes were all the way fully open, and we're really uh, digesting that. And it's okay to be that way. Because a lot of times we get very you know temperamental when somebody try to tell us something like that. Because I know I did. I'm like, oh no, the heck you didn't. I wasn't trying to feel sorry for myself. I didn't play a victim either. You know, and then I didn't realize because I was always talking about they did this, they did that to me. And it's like, 
these are the things that I had to go through. And I'll say that real quick. I may not, there will be times that I didn't like my enemy. There will be times I didn't like my, you know, my family. I don't even call them family. That was just a blessing in disguise for me. That was just, you know, <laughs> it was something I had to go through, you know, at that time. But it was like, I seen that as a blessing, blessing because it lured me into finding myself for the absolute rawness for what I truly was based you know because mine was so casted up with scars of trauma sadness confusion regret rage anything that was a a heavy narrative that's what I was cased up in and when you're I'm doing that I was going through not just a mental it was a mental physical emotional sexual verbal spiritual all those different things was all at one time and I was feeling tired you know very very tired because all this stuff is coming up to they always say it's a good thing when you're feeling down because you're showing where something needs to be released something is like I'm tired of feeling this way you looking at the dad you looking in the mirror and cussing your own self out like I'm tired of you getting in my way you know I'm trying to allow myself to make peace with this and it's like the ego want to take front seat and you ready to duct tape the heck out of her or him and put that butt all the way in the daggone you know back seat or you want to be sitting up here and coming up missing like Jimmy Hoffa. It'd be one of those type of situations where you you know you really having to do that you know and it's just like you had to be at that point where you're tired because you're allowing all these things to come up and they're telling you don't resist that you know and it's hard when you're going through that because you, you you automatically that was your safe zone and I don't know about y'all but I admit to that that was my safe zone because I was so used to carrying that for so long that came into me it's just like you having your own mattress and you don't want to get rid of that old mattress even though you know you need to but it don't form to your body and then all of a sudden you get I don't know if I'm gonna like that it ain't gonna feel the same you know this and this and that you know we can get like that when you became so attached to those things and it's hard for us to detach from them when we done carried around for so long that's just like you being at the same frequency for a certain period of time an extended period of time and then all of a sudden some kind of rift came into that rotation you know and all of a sudden stuff start hitting different stuff start connecting different stuff start embracing different and you just really trying to say what the heck is going on with me why am I like this you know I feel my like my heart chakra is the more that I allow myself to accept things I'm becoming very sensitive extra sensitive I can't watch different movies it's like if I see you know even though it's been a movie I watched so many times like uh, I watched remind me of, of the, the remake of it with uh what is it uh bill scottsgard's brother i can't remember his name but it, it was like when they did the lamb scene and they were you know they, i guess they had to make lamb chops and stuff like that when i got so pissed when i see it, they had to you know hit them with that that gun and stuff like that to put them out in the misery and it was just like i'm done <laughs> you know i was like i was so done i was like so mad i love that movie because it was funny with the little kids and junk because they had me laugh especially about the gray water and the, the, the boy with the you questionable with him and his mama and then she he was talking about he was a walking hy hypochondriac you know and i loved him to death especially with the little comical boy but it was just like going through that you start noticing that you're extra sensitive around things it's like even with toxicity you 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 start you start being very fidgety around that and you know you're going through that and there'll be times that you wake up and you can have a full night's sleep and you're still tired but they tell you this is that time we need to replenish yourself work out get into nature meditate you know pray write down affirmations keep a journal these different things you know because you're, you're purging out a lot of things and you feel so depleted you don't want to move at times I've been there I've been there and it, it, it's just like you there's sometimes that you'll see what you have to do you know what you have to do even though sometimes it's just hard for you to accept it you know you're going through a lot of painful situations and this is something you know um, I forgot where I read that at but it's just something it can very it can hurt really bad but you're going through an emotional emotional transition a traumatic one and a lot of times can be very painful you know you're having to go through that and a lot of times we don't realize that just because of the, all the stuff that happened to us it could be betrayal it could be deception somebody lying on you you know different things where your life is you know being threatened or you know you're on that vibration of wanting to commit you know leave here on your terms um 
and different things like that because you're you're doing uh, emotional clearing and it, it can feel very whew, it can feel a lot you know and you're you're going through these different things and they tell you it, it's just the fact is you have to accept what had happened you have to accept this pain for what it is you know when you're on that verge release it before you can release it you have to give it his gratitude because it taught you so much about your power it showed you how you can be very determined where if you know you want better you start moving better you start acting better you start making ch better choices um even though there may be days you're gonna get pissed off they already know that's not that's that's common you know for you to get mad you start popping off with universe start popping off with god all the different things you going on you really trying and it just seemed like oh you know you're not being optimistic about those different things and a lot of times it's hard for you to be optimistic when you got so much going on at once that is not positive you know because a lot of times we can have little bitty blessings coming in and we show gratitude half of the time because sometimes we can get ungrateful like look you know, I, I don't been pushing in weight like this, you know, like t 10 million tons and all you do, my reward is back like two pennies. You know, and they're starting off gradually, like even though I gave you two pennies and you did like about a thousand dollars worth of work, I'm going to give you these two pennies just to see how you're going to respond to it. How you act when you have nothing and how you act when you have everything is a big difference. So how you can do that is just like when... You're going through different things. It remind me of a post that I seen today. I said everybody want to be a part of the the outcome, but nobody don't want to be a part of that out process, and they don't realize that's where the big question comes in. That the decision comes in about where you where were you at in the place of my my process. And you don't want to be there when things got bad. You didn't want to be there when all, all I had was to offer friendship. You daggone sure don't need to be there on my outcome. Don't come hollering now. Keep that same energy. You don't want to mess with me. I don't want to mess with you. You don't want to funk with me. You don't got to funk with me. And I didn't say the F you word. I said funk. You know, you don't want to funk with me. You ain't got to. But I want you to keep that same energy when things get good. You, you can't love me when it's better when you didn't love me later. You know, it, it's all those different things. You know, um, and it, it's just like you had to be able to set that relationship that connection that situation on how it is and that mess is very painful and it can be very draining because it's just a lot of times when you know you can be through that and you have the repetitive thoughts of what has happened you feel shameful and embarrassed about different things even emotional clearing is coming back from things from 10 15 years ago and you're like oh my god i can't believe i did that you know and it could be something like that and you it, it start bringing up a lot of shameful vibration it can fill up a lot of vulnerable vibe you're very vulnerable around that time anyway because you you really having to be in solitude you being isolated towards different things because they don't need you having outside distractions and they know that can be very lonely for you you're not alone but it can make you feel very lonely and these are the different things that's really had to take place for you to be able to grow within that and when you're growing within that there's going to be days like I said you're going to wake up and you're going to be very tired or there'll be different times at night when you wake up two three o'clock in the morning and by the time you know especially if you got a job you you go get ready go back to sleep <laughs> you know like about an hour or something before you got to go to work you're like oh god then you're still dealing with this and you got to deal with everybody else's energy when you go into work and they're telling me right now to tell y'all whoever has to deal with a job and it's very i mean it's like lately you've been really starting to clash with your energy with other people energy at work you have to understand number one they're telling you to start you, you know you're a female put your crystals in your bra you know, put your crystals in your bra. You know, even if it has to be something, you got one of them little jack. You can wear jackets in there. You put put your crystals in your inside jackets, dudes. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about fellas too. If you got them jackets and stuff, make sure you got your crystals on you because you have to understand. There's a lot of you're doing emotional clearing. And number one, the people that uh, want to stay in the dark, they're gonna be dealing with dark dark forces, and you're gonna be dealing with them too. You know go hand in hand you got to understand that so you're dealing with a lot of different people that don't want to you know they're already triggered by you just because they recognize something in you that they don't recognize in themselves or things that you may not recognize so you're going to deal with a lot of clashed energy 
You know, that can even include in your family, your husbands, your wives, your mama, baby mama, baby daddy, even your children. You know, all those different things is taking place and it's draining you because you, you, you know, it, it takes energy. Like people, sometimes people feel like it's easy to make videos, not for the people like me. I don't know about the other people that do, you know, whatever they're doing. No, I'm talking about for me. You have to open yourself up to universe. And you're already going through a transition which is already tiring as it is. You're going through different energy. You're allowing yourself to really see things from a different perspective. Seeing a bigger picture on why things are going. And you're trying to clear that without being all in your feelings. Being emotional. Being angry. You know. And that takes a lot of energy to do because you're burning that off. You're allowing yourself to know. Even though I may not understand what I'm going through right now. And I may not like it. I know my choice has to be to keep moving forward. No matter what is going on and a lot of that takes strength to do when you're allowing yourself to say you know what I don't understand what's going on God and universe really pissing me off to the max but I understand that they're doing this to better me they're doing this to strengthen me they're doing this for me to acknowledge who I truly am accept me for who I was and appreciate it and let go of that and open doors to what I can be you know you're whatever you're doing on a daily basis is is you know is creating a future for you It's all about what you you choose your daily routines off of is what you basically you're allowing yourself to build up on and when you're doing that that is not easy like I said you're gonna feel shameful for different things in the past there'll be times you get mad at yourself where I should have said this I should have did that or with that person I should have made this different decision or I should have made that decision I should have spoke up on myself and defended myself on diff different things and I had to be able when I said I said those different things towards myself and what I had to tell myself is stop beating yourself up stop gaslighting yourself about different things and trying to convince yourself of something wrong you did regardless if it was wrong you know better now Okay, you didn't know what you knew then. You, you had to go through those experiences so you can see how much that change has changed you for that situation. And this is something you have to be appreciative of. And I had to be able to tell myself, girl, you don't grew a lot. And you don't dealt with a lot of strength that a lot of it, it could have caused a lot of people to fold. You have to be able to see it that way. You're approaching and you're facing different things that so many people will run the hills for. I ain't touching that with a 10 foot pole. I got to go because if that is what I got to deal with, that means I got to hold accountability. I have to allow myself to be honest with myself. I had to see the part I played within my own suffering. I had to allow myself to see, even though these people have done these things to me, it taught me so much about myself, about what I can no longer continue, what I no longer can stay focused on, of, what I no longer can stay attached to, what I no, no, no longer need to pay attention to, but allow myself to acknowledge that and accept it for what it was, accept the people who, who they are. If you're healing and they don't want to heal you we can't judge that and i had to be allowed myself to a hey, i had to back pedal and bite my own tongue like hey you can't judge that person because they don't want to heal you know a lot of people are okay with just being that way and they find different ways to dealing with their pain but you you were built different you were you hit your purpose is a lot different you can't do that that's the reason why things hit you so heavy. That's the reason why so many things is coming in your way. Just to see what you're going to stay focused on. Just like God will allow certain things to be blocked. Just to see are you going to allow what I placed in, under my control. Not your control to stop you. Or are you going to allow yourself to use that. Have your chill moment. If you got to talk. You got to yell. You got to scream. You got to cry. That's fine. But are you going to allow yourself to do it. Shake it off and say this too shall pass. It is what it is. And allow myself to know I'm going to use this as a creation for me to keep moving. And that's where that's coming from. So there's going to be days that you're going to be really tired. There's going to be really the days that you're ready to give up. There'll be days that you're ready to end everything because that pain gets so unbearable. But this is the reason why you're feeling depleted. Because you are pushing out, but you're also getting back. You're pushing out. And it takes a lot of strength and that takes a lot of energy. Like I said, when you're doing these videos, I have to open myself up. You know, I get visual. I'm not seeing through my eyes. I'm not hearing through my ears, but I'm I'm going through my metaphysical and I'm opening myself up, you know, as a conduit, a spiritual antenna to receive these things. While I'm going through my healing process, I'm allowing myself to be open, 
you know, very transparent. Because I tell y'all, there will be days, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, like, I know there's a lot of people that watch me and appreciate my videos and really take it to heart and they learn so much about themselves and that's not an ego trip to me it doesn't make me feel arrogant or conceited or feel I'm better than anybody else it's just inspiring myself to inspire you because I know there's a lot of different people that are going through different things and you really question life within itself and that's not easy to do you know there's a lot of time people mock our suffering you know and it's okay they can go ahead. I mean, that can hurt deep when people get a joy out of seeing you cry or a joy out of seeing you struggle in some kind of way. But you have to understand people that mock stuff like that, they're already in their suffering. You can't place revenge on them. You can't place hate because that, that's already going on within the choices they make, you know, and that's a sad thing. Because when you're going through your stuff, you, you, you're you allowing yourself to go through it. You can't resist it. Because it gets to that point where it's happened so much, you have to allow yourself to know, I can't allow myself to keep resisting the things that I have to accept that needs to end, that needs to change, that needs to be appreciated so I can let go. Allowing myself to, you know, put that at God and universe's feet for this to be able to go through that completion because it's taught me so much about myself god knows that you're spiritually tired emotionally mentally verbally sexually all those different things they know that but they also pay attention to the the transition you're allowing yourself to go through you know you can't no longer resist this because it's inevitable change is always inevitable you you you, you know how you know it reminds me of that song i love by janae i echo uh, when she says changing isn't inevitable you know why hold on to something you have to let go of you know and that's true you know you know you have to be able to allow yourself to do that and so that takes a lot of energy so don't beat yourself up if you don't have energy in your life at this time because you're already going through a transition you're allowing yourself to, even though it may be the most painfulest thing is there's a lot of people you have to let go of there's going to be a time when you're going to look back and you, you're going to feel like I remember a time when I had, you know, X, Y, Z in my life and I felt like I could live without them. And look, this is the thing that they gave me. They gave me that gift, even though it hurt. That was a gift to you because it showed you what any anytime something like that happens again and you know your worth. Because a lot of times we have to go through a lot of different things in our lives where we see where ba boundaries are very important. Not just with others, but within ourselves. The boundaries of our pain, our, our trauma, our anger. You know, a lot of times we want to sit with that. And it's not supposed to be set with. It's not supposed to be, that's, you know, that's supposed to be unwanted company. And I just got you. When I'm saying that's unwanted company, you have to be able to allow yourself. You know, you had that little educational, educational, as I used to say, educational um, convo with that. It's like, yes, what we went through was very painful. It was very rocky. You know, it took me through some changes. Lord, don't put me through some changes. But you have helped me in so many different ways. You broke all those boundaries, all those walls, those borders that I put up. And allowed me to flow in being fluid in these things. It's like my situation has done broke me, but it taught me so much about myself. It taught me so many different things that I have to look for in case these things happen again. It showed me so much about how to love myself when I place myself in situations where I damaged myself. You know, and a lot of times it's hard for you to do that. You know, people get offensive. It's like, you didn't love yourself. You're like, hold up, wait a minute. You don't know me like that. How you going to, by, by the choices you made. And I tell myself that a lot. I remember it would be different videos that I've seen. And I said, people say, I said, they don't love yourself. And plus, you know, a lot of different things is taking place because they did something. And now that karma's coming back and it's reaping what it sold. And I got chopped off. And I'm like, look, this is my opinion. I don't care. You want to get mad about it? You know, I ain't talking about you. But if it, if it offends you, there's something about you that you need to recognize. They ain't got nothing to do with me. I've been there. So I can sit up here and say that. Ain't placing judgment on nobody because the fact is I've been there. You know, I had to watch how I was very discerning on how I had to say those different things in my life. Because it's just like I've seen things that has happened in my life where it showed me where love was not existing in myself. Because if I love myself, I wouldn't have been entertaining half of the stuff that I've been through. I would have allowed myself to cut off people a long time ago. But I had to go through that where it showed me where my worth was not there. It showed me where my belief within myself, my, my patience within myself, my confidence in myself wasn't there. That, you know, my self-respect 
my happiness, my peace. All that I allowed myself to jeopardize that over situations, entities, you know, people that I know that did not love me. And now I'm very stern with that. If I don't like how somebody's talking to me, they can be very disrespectful and say certain things like, hey, can you not do that? You know, any other time I would have been snap, crack on, pop on you. I would have told you where it end began and where it can carry on. You know, I was that type of person. Now I'm like, I appreciate the things that I go through. I get tested all the time. I get tested in my physical. I get tested here where people want to come off and clap back. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going to bring myself out of my character. Last time I really did that. It almost got somebody put in a box. I'm not going to allow somebody to do, you know, I'm not going to allow myself to get out my character. I will laugh at you before I beef with you. I'm at that vibe right now. I will straight laugh at you before I beef with you. I don't have time for that. My energy is much too precious where I can place it on something that's going to grow me, not sit up here and sow me in the wrongest way. But these are the different things that are going on where it, you can feel very depleted right now. You can be feel, feeling very defeated. But it's not. you. When you're allowing yourself to go through those emotions, that is like a saving grace when it comes to that. But allow yourself to go through it. Don't resist it. And a lot of times it's hard. That's where the challenge really comes in is you not wanting to feel that. And nobody wants to feel pain. You know, there are some people that we, we can stay focused on that negative for so long. That's all we know. But when it's just like God feels like you can be happy. But that's where your choice has to come in to be happy. It, it, it can't be with materialistic things. It can't be with love from another person. You know, they can love you. You know, they can bring happiness in your life. But it, it, it'll be always, you'll always be feeding off of them. And you'll end up, they'll end up walking away just because of the fact is you couldn't make your own self happy. You're miserable. I've seen people that, that jeopardized all that just to make a person happy. And it, it, it's just like it's never ending. That's a cycle where you constantly going to be drained. You're going to constantly be overwhelmed. You know, you're staying around people that you, you already know is just damaging towards your, you know, your spirit. There are some people that do it intentionally and there are some people that don't, you know. But this at that point where you're going to start seeing where the correction is really taking place at and where it's truly needed. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to... um. Mr. Wonderful, much love to you, and welcome to the fam. Timber Wolf, much love to you. Uh, Lauren, uh, Gor uh, what is it, Gor Zika, Gor Zika, uh, Zika. I hope I pronounced that uh, you know right. I apologize if I didn't. And Ava Wright, much love to you, and welcome to the fam. Um, whatever you're manifesting into your life, your manies um, is going to come so much bigger and better than you ever imagined. You know, allowing yourself to take pause for the cause if you have to, but don't give up. You know, don't give up on your dream. If, if it's something that they can place in your head, you can create that within the choices of your matter. of you creating that as your own, and you know, reality. And you can really do that if you allow yourself to. You know, and they know that's not easy. But when you allow yourself to keep going, use whatever you're going through right now that really hurts you, frustrates you, piss you off. Use that as that endurance to keep moving. You know, the devil will always bring stuff to you and God will always challenge you with the same thing to make you stronger. So you allow yourself to keep going. I guarantee you, they always say, if God make you wait, <laughs> he prepare you for something a lot more better. So just keep going and allow yourself to know that it can be sooner than you ever predicted as well. So I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking. You know, just giving you a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. You know, different things that people um, want to share with me and give me my, um, ask me for my insight about uh, what I think about that situation. I always try my best to be able to help. Um, and whatever we speak on is confidential. Um, and I help out the best way I can. So, um, even through social distancing, make sure that you, uh, you know, give out love, like positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You never know how that can really take somebody a long way and also take you even further. And like I said, I'll leave that in the description box below my contact information as well as my, my, uh, what is it? My link <laughs> to my podcast. So you can be able to hear that as well. If you can't listen to the, you know, visual, you can always listen to the audio. So I hope you have a blessed week, a safe weekend. Please be safe and responsible with everything you do. You'll see me on the next video. Much love to you. Peace.